So surprisingly, we're back here on some more Vanguard today to check out Season 5 Reloaded. They just dropped a brand new update. With Vanguard's new update today, we ended up getting the BP-50, otherwise known as the F-2000. I don't know why they don't call it the F-2000, because that is the F-2000 for Mod Warfare 2 in a World War II game. This fully automatic bullpup assault rifle boasts a high fire rate while remaining deadly and accurate at long range. This sounds like the complete opposite of the F-2000 from Mod Warfare 2. To unlock this weapon, all you gotta do is get 15 ADS kills with an ACOG equipped. They've made a unlocking weapons on vanguard so much easier because when this game first dropped it was like get five kills while crouching doing yy slide canceling in 15 different completed matches now it's just like yeah get 15 kills we don't care anymore the lenia 57 this compact lmg is capable of high accuracy during sustained fire at short or to medium range don't care yeah there's also a bundle for this f2000 it looks cool but i mean considering modern warfare 2 is literally in less than 30 days not even gonna spend 12 dollars on it if you want to use code dismo <laughs> Walk. Bro, that shit just look like a fucking nuke in my face, bro. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Peek it. I didn't even throw a grenade! Vanguard's already giving me a headache. Bro, I didn't even get to unlock it in the one- <laughs> I literally need four more kills. Ooh. Is that it? So here's the brand new BP-50, otherwise known as the F-2000. It's literally the F-2000. If you get a side-by-side -side screenshot of this and then the MW-2 F-2000, they're identical. How does it shoot? It shoots pretty fast. So I assumed with today's update that we were going to get both the brand new weapons and the new multiplayer map. Uh, turns out all they gave us was this weapon. The map isn't coming out till end season. Can't even unlock the new LMG yet. Once again, the drip feed continues. What are you doing? God, I hate you so much. I mean, the gun kills pretty fast. I, I will say that. I don't know how it's going to be in Warzone, but I mean, it's pretty strong, pretty consistent. I really wish I could be like a fly on the wall when like they were having the meeting to be like, hey, what weapon do we want to add to our World War II shooter? I bet when they were talking about adding this weapon to the game, they were just like, Modern Warfare 2 is releasing soon. How can we integrate Vanguard, a World War II game with a modern shooter? Yeah, let's just add the F-2000. That makes sense, right? How does this man already have 45 of limbs? I can't even hear anything on this game. It's just constant barrage of explosions on explosions on explosions. Okay. Did my man just get a V2 rocket? Yo, I'm so glad I was on his team. Oh my God. Had 62 kills. What an absolute demon. This laser is so bright. This gun kind of does slap. Get off me. Ever since the Modern Warfare 2 beta has ended, I'm gonna be honest, I truly have no idea what I wanna do. I think I have like four or five weapons, including this now and probably the new LMG to get Atomic. So you guys want me to grind out Atomic for the remainder of the weapons? I mean, if this video gets like, if we break like 10K likes, I'll just start grinding the rest of the weapons, finish it out. Although Vanguard is a uh, kind of meh, I gotta finish what I started. I have to get all the weapons Atomic. This guy up top. You're disgust, what is that? What in COD timing? I'm pretty sure I only have like a couple weapons to get. Most of them are already leveled up. So it's really just coming back and doing the challenges. Getting me a little bit prepared for whatever, you know, Modern Warfare 2 is about to put me through. Oh, he has the variant. Oh, variant kind of slaps. Skin looks kind of cool. Like I said, I'm not going to buy it. No point. To be honest, lately, all I've been doing is playing World of Warcraft. You're disgusting. Come on, man. Like what? Which doctor? That is true sentinel gameplay. Man's going to be in love with Modern Warfare 2. I haven't even been playing COD the last two days. All I've been doing is playing World of Warcraft Classic, leveling up my warrior on that, trying to get to 80 as soon as possible. And I think I've maybe slept a total of four hours in the last 48 hours. I'm almost level 80, level 77 and a half right now. So I should be done with that soon. Then back to, you know, YouTube, COD grind, all that good stuff. And Infinity Ward came out with another blog post and they were talking about like visibility issues and stuff like that with the... Right in the eye. Can't make this shit up. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Show me someone else that that happens to. Show me someone else that gets consistently stuck by Semtex. It honestly started as a joke at first. It really did because like, you know, oh yeah, the, the one-off Semtexes and, you know, in Cold War, it would happen because Semtex was like the best thing to run. Went from Cold War to Vanguard to the Modern Warfare 2 beta. It is going to be a rough year. If it were came out with a blog post addressing a couple more things and a lot of like the concerns the community were raising, one of them being the visibility issue. Because a lot of times in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, Data, I would confuse my own teammate with the enemy because the only way you can identify your teammate in MW2 is with that little blue dot above their head. 
and sometimes that dot will go just perfectly above the enemy's head that you don't even know what's an enemy anymore. And the easiest fix to this is just put the nameplates above the head like in this game. You don't need just that dot. Infinity Ward came and said, yeah, we heard your feedback. We're looking into it. We're going to try to adjust the visibility in the game without adding nameplates above the head. So instead of just adding like the nameplates, which would in turn make everything so much easier, it's such a small change that like nobody asked for. Once again, they're just doubling down on it, sticking to their design because, you know, Infinity Ward knows right. And we don't get all of them. They're just all just in this building. Every last one of them is just hiding for their lives right now. And there's the ball turret gunner. Goku just went super sane, playing like a sentinel on B. It's the ball turret gunner. Peek me. Come on. Thank you. Peek it. Damn it, I suck. Thank God that game's over. Oh my God. 47 on limbs. I don't even feel like I did good that game. Literally 14 FPS. 10, 9, 8, 6. Bro, how am I still alive? Bro, what the fuck? I'm on a brutal. Nope, 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 nope. Team, team. Bro, where is everybody? And I, I joined this game late. No. no. Ow. Fuck you. That is using fucking hacks. Dice mode, whatever shit. Uh, GG's, man. I got a Fury kill. That's four kills. I don't know how that equals hacks. If that's how you want to cope, keep drinking it, bro. So I'll say that this weapon right now is actually really good. It's a lot better than the OG F2000 for Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, now you can put 10 freaking attachments on it to make it an absolute god gun. So including this weapon, I have one, two, three. The H4 Blixen is almost gold camo. So then four, UGM-8 and the Lenia 57. So six weapons to get atomic camo. And then I'll have every weapon atomic in the game i think i'll go ahead and do it at least give me something to do for the next like 20 days because the moment the the moment i can play the modern warfare 2 campaign i'm gonna crank out that entire thing play it get the whole let's play up as soon as possible but hope you guys enjoy this video vanguard's almost over we almost got mod warfare 2 i'm so ready drop a like if you guys want me to finish out atomic camo on every weapon and i will catch you guys in the next one peace